with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. High temperatures have now been above normal for eight straight days. We've got days number nine and ten on the way. And then after that, some big changes. Here's a look at your seven-day temperature trend. Tomorrow, mid to upper 60s, we'll see the lower half of the 60s on Wednesday. Then we'll drop down into the 50s and 40s as we wrap up the work week and move into the weekend. Right now, after highs in the lower to mid 60s earlier this afternoon, we are looking at mainly 50s out there. The exceptions are across the far north in both Pembine and Ephraim. Temperatures are in the upper 40s. Right now in Appleton with clear skies, it is 54 degrees. In Green Bay, the sun is just about ready to set on the western horizon. It is 53 degrees and the winds have greatly diminished from earlier today when they were gusting up to around 40 miles per hour. Along with those gusty winds earlier today, we had some thunderstorms. Take a look at Lightning Track 26, numerous cloud-to-ground lightning strikes with multiple thunderstorms that moved across central and eastern Wisconsin during the late morning and early afternoon. Severe weather was not expected and we did not get any severe weather but we had some gusty winds some small hail and some brief heavy rain tonight you can see all of that rain has shifted off towards the east as our main weather maker today continues to work off towards the east as well it's a cold front behind that cold front we have a weak ridge of high pressure that'll build in for tonight giving us quiet weather, but then we've got another system out across the northern plains. That'll move in tomorrow with a chance for additional showers. Out ahead of that system today, temperatures were in the 60s to around 70 degrees, and that warmth will move over the Badger State for tomorrow. Look for temperatures to be running about 8 to 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. Our normal high is 58. I'm forecasting highs to be in the mid to upper 60s. But after that, the weather is going to start to change. In fact, the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook, which takes us from October 18th through October 22nd, calls for below to much below normal temperatures across the state of Wisconsin. And when you're talking about below normal temps during the month of October, you have to start thinking about the threat for maybe some snow. Yes, we typically see snow during the month of October, and our chances for seeing the first flakes of the season will be going up as we head into the weekend and next week. We've got a system moving through tomorrow with a few rain showers. Another system on Wednesday bringing some rain showers with it. On Thursday, a few rain showers are possible across the north. Look at this on Friday, however. You can see some snow starting to show up across the north woods with that system. Another system on Saturday, rain showers, maybe a few snowflakes. The same thing for Sunday and into Monday as well. So yeah, the chances are looking pretty good that at least some of us will see some snow by the time we get to the end of this seven-day forecast. So tonight, clear skies initially, then increasing clouds. Lows will be in the lower to mid-40s. Tomorrow, it'll be windy and mild, mid to upper 60s. We'll have sun and clouds throughout the day with a few rain showers. They're not going to be as widespread as what we saw today. My three-degree guarantee for tomorrow is 67. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to We All Rise. And we did that on Saturday. My forecast 66. The high was 64 degrees. On Wednesday, mostly cloudy, a few rain showers, 61. 53 on Thursday, sun and clouds. The same goes for Friday, but 49, a chance for a shower both of those days. And then turning progressively colder for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Not only do we have a chance for a few snowflakes, by the end of the seven-day forecast, but look at those morning lows down into the 20s on some days. John? For some, it's a trick. For some, a treat. All right, Cameron, thanks so much. Still ahead here for us at 6. The hearings for